Right now, there are tiny pieces of plastic inside you, not just in your stomach, but in your bloodstream, your lungs, and maybe even your brain. In 2022, researchers in the Netherlands actually detected microplastics in human blood for the first time. Other studies have found them in lung tissue and even in the placentas of unborn babies. The scary part? You probably put most of them there yourself without even realizing it. But here's the good news. Scientists and doctors agree there are proven ways to cut your exposure dramatically. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to detox your life from microplastics, step by step. A new study out today is shaking up the bottled water business. It found plastic particles floating in some of the most popular brands. Filter your water. Let's start with water. Researchers at the State University of New York found microplastics in 93% of U.S. tap water samples. That's almost everyone. The best fix? A reverse osmosis water filter, which studies show can remove over 90% of plastic particles. Even a high-quality carbon block filter can help a lot. Dr. Sherry Mason, one of the leading experts on microplastics, has said, water is the single largest source of microplastics. Filtration is one of the easiest, most effective interventions. Skip bottled water, and don't think bottled water is better. A large global study tested hundreds of bottles from major brands and found microplastics in 93% of them, sometimes at levels 10 times higher than tap water. That's because the bottles themselves shed plastic into the water. Switching to stainless steel or glass bottles is not only safer, but cheaper in the long run. Don't microwave plastic. Next, microwaving food in plastic. Researchers at the University of Nebraska found that heating baby food in plastic containers released millions of plastic particles into the food. And those are tiny enough to pass through the gut lining into the bloodstream. Even microwave-safe labels only mean the container won't melt. Not that it won't shed microplastics. Always reheat in glass or ceramic. Rethink your tea bags. Tea lovers, this one hurts. A McGill University study showed that a single plastic tea bag releases over 11 billion microplastic particles when steeped in hot water. That's billions in one cup. The easy fix, loose leaf tea in a stainless steel or mesh infuser. Same taste, zero plastic. Change your cutting boards. Every time you chop on a plastic cutting board, microscopic shavings mix right into your food. Wooden and bamboo boards shed far less and they're naturally antibacterial. It's a simple swap that makes a big difference. Smarter food storage. Plastic wrap, zip bags, and scratch plastic containers all shed particles. A study in Journal of Hazardous Materials showed that older damaged plastic releases significantly more microplastics. Instead, store food in glass jars, stainless steel containers, or reusable silicone bags. They last longer and keep your food cleaner. Laundry fixes. Clothing is another hidden source. A single load of laundry can release hundreds of thousands of synthetic fibers into wastewater, especially from polyester and nylon. These eventually make their way back into our food chain. You can fight this with microfiber catching bags like Guppy Friend, or even better, a washing machine filter. And washing on cold, gentle cycles sheds fewer fibers. Dr. Mark Brown, one of the first scientists to study microfibers, has said, Washing clothes is probably the single biggest source of plastic entering our oceans. Clean your air. Microplastics aren't just in what we eat, they're also in what we breathe. Indoor air can be heavily contaminated from carpets, furniture, and clothing fibers floating around. A study published in Science estimated that people inhale tens of thousands of plastic particles every year indoors. Using a vacuum with a HEPA filter and dusting with damp cloths instead of dry dusters keeps that down. Eat fresh, less processed. Here's something most people don't think about. Ultra-processed foods contain more microplastics than fresh alternatives. A 2021 study in environmental pollution found that foods like instant noodles and microwave meals often had far higher contamination levels. Cooking fresh not only avoids microplastics from processing and packaging, but also improves nutrition. Think bigger. Finally, remember this. Individual choices matter, but we need system-level change, too. Governments in Europe and Canada have already banned microbeads in cosmetics, and companies are developing biodegradable plastics and fibers that shed less. As Dr. Richard Thompson, the scientist who coined the term microplastics, has said, we need both consumer action and systemic reform to reduce the flow of plastics into our environment. Microplastics are everywhere, but you're not helpless. By filtering your water, ditching bottled plastic, swapping out food storage, upgrading your laundry routine, and choosing fresh over processed, you can dramatically cut your exposure. So, which one of these swaps are you going to try first? Drop it in the comments and share this with a friend who still microwaves food in plastic. Trust me, they'll thank you later.